Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here with Alta New and joining Kathy Rakusen from The Daily Marker and she's got another 30 day colouring challenge happening and if you know me you lo know that I love to colour so this is the perfect challenge for me to join in and have some fun. So what I'm doing here I thought I'd do something a little bit different for me and something that I really do enjoy doing is actually colouring directly onto design paper. So I've started with a piece of this is like a wood grain paper from the Alta New Reflection Scrapbook Collection and I've cut it to the same size as my card front and I'm just stamping out a little bouquet. This is from the Amazing You stamp set and I have masked one of the images there just to um, make it look like it's going to be in the front. So once I've finished stamping out my my other flowers and leaves, the image that I have masked will be the one that looks like it's in the foreground. So when you're colouring on design paper there are a few things to um, be aware of. I do like to use my Prismacolor pencils because I find that they're nice and bold and they, because they have that sort of waxy sort of finish they do cover the patterns in the background a lot better than some of the other pencils but you could certainly try any other medium and you're going to get some great effects no matter what you choose but I did use the jet black ink and that works really well with the Prismacolor pencils there is one thing um, I always do and that's have like a little scrap piece of paper of the same design paper beside beside me and that way I can test my colors and you'll see me do this as I'm coloring. I can test what the colors are going to look like actually on the design paper because as you could probably realize when you're using a colored medium or a colored background things are going to look different on top of that as opposed to coloring directly onto a white cardstock or white paper. So what I do here is actually um, do my normal shading with my pencil pencils and blend them with themselves. I don't use any Gamsol or Odalis, white, white Odalis Mineral Spirit, anything like that. I actually just keep coming back and forth with the colors till I get the shading that I'm happy with. It is sort of important to look at the kind of design paper that you do choose to work on because they... Um, Obviously something really heavy and heavily designed with an intricate stamp on top, you're really not going to see it. So depending on what you want to stamp and what effect you want to achieve, um, sometimes you just need to look at where you're stamping on the design paper because it can be um, quite an intricate design itself. But for me, with this wood grain effect, it was pretty easy. I could have stamped anywhere on here because it's basically the same pattern repeated and the same colors repeated. You may notice too that uh, you can see sort of a bloom with these wax pencils and that actually helps here and when I say bloom what I mean is it kind of covers up you know how you have a stamped edge of a flower here if the pencil actually goes over that black part it sort of like covers the image slightly and it makes it look a little bit faded so um, that actually helps here on this kind of coloring because I do want it to cover the paper a little bit I do want some of that um, design to actually look like it's in the background but if you look closely you can still see that it comes through one way to fix that bloom and I um, do do this is come in with a black pencil at the end and just sort of draw over some of the lines that I think might have lost a bit of their sharpness. Alright so I'm going to leave you with the rest of the colouring now and I'll list all the colours that I'm using in the video description below and it won't be too long till I'm back putting the card together.
So I've die cut the word thank you in some jet black cardstock and also in some white fun foam and just adhered them together with some multi matte medium and allowed that to dry just to save a bit of time. And I've just sat them on my piece of design paper just where I think they might be going to sit and then I'm stamping out a sentiment just with some jet black ink from the same amazing new set. I'm adding some adhesive with my ATG gun, attaching my panel directly to my top fold card front and then I can just simply sta um, stick <laughs> the, the um, die cut sentiment. Ah, I'm having trouble speaking again. Um, stick the rest of the die cut sentiment onto the front of the card where I want it using some matte medium. So head on over and check out the Alta New blog. The other members of the team are also creating their cards today for the 30 day colouring challenge. What a great event. I can't wait to see what else is created and I'll catch you again real soon. Hopefully you get some colouring done too. Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye.